What's up, nerds? Uh, okay, so today going to be uh, goddamn train. No, I lost my train of thought. Ah. Uh, shut up, dude. So today going to be uh, finish sanding on the Strandberg that I've been working on in these videos. Um, I'm gonna explain to you in a second why I'm only doing the top. Um, so I'm not going to take a whole lot of time and explain that now. Because the video is already kind of long. And now I'm just rambling. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so I already kind of started. Um, I totally forgot that I was doing videos. Because uh, fucking, you know, it's just how my brain works. Um, so I just, started, I just started leveling with 600 in an orbital. Um, this here. Uh, I'm just going to take you through the top today because uh, doing the whole thing would require a lot of time and space on my phone to record this. I just don't have that much space on my phone. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run you through basically just buffing out the top I think today and then uh, it's pretty much the same process all throughout. Um, I'm gonna start with 600. Since I'm, since I'm sanding on polyester, which is a little bit harder and a little bit thicker, I have a little bit more room to be able to start with something a little bit more abrasive, like 600 to flatten this out. Uh, from there, I'm gonna move on to doing 1,000. Um, in between the 600 and 1,000, I'll probably do 600 wet. Uh, I still kind of believe in, in wet sanding. Um, well, I totally believe in wet sanding. I feel like it helps me kind of eliminate some scratches and. and get some swirlies out. So uh, I'll go 600 dry on the orbital, 600 wet by hand, uh, 1000 dry on the orbital, 1000 wet by hand, and then I'll probably end up going over it with a, a 3000 wet pad uh, just, to, just to eliminate some swirls and, and get some scratches out. Um, all right, let's go. So what I use for wet sanding, uh, basically it's just dish soap and uh, water, um, palm olive to be exact. Uh, if you're like me and you're a bit on the cheap side, uh, probably Fabuloso would do. Um, you know. Uh, so what I'm what I'm gonna do is basically you could see there's a couple spots where it, it built up around the edges, um, so these kind of areas here, basically it's not totally flat. So I'm gonna go through with the 600 wet, try to really focus on those areas, get that flattened out before I move on to a thousand. A uh, thousand's not gonna do much for me in the way of flattening things out. It will help a little bit, but uh, it's always easier to go with the more aggressive grit for that, so. All right, so that looks pretty good to me right there. Uh, I think I can move on to doing a thousand now. Um, probably want to spend a little bit more time with the thousand than I did with the six hundred, just to kind of get some scratches out. And you know, six hundred is kind of aggressive, so you want to spend a little more time. 
You can also, you know, do from 600 to 800. Uh, you can start leveling with 800 and then move up to 1,000. Uh, I'm just going to make the jump from 6 to 1,000. A lot of people think that's kind of crazy. I've been doing it that way for years. Don't really care what you think. So right now, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this color actually looks pretty red as a satin. Um, you can kind of get the satin vibe from it, you know, where it is. Um, so yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Anyways, uh, now on to a thousand wet. You know, I was talking to somebody recently about uh, finished sanding and wet sanding and all that jazz. Uh, basically they say, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, and, um, you know, this is, I guess, my way of skinning a cat. Not that I would skin a cat, I feel like that's more for, uh, serial killers and the like, but, uh, it's true, everybody has their own way of doing something, um, techniques vary from, from person to person. This is just kind of my technique at the moment. I am working on kind of developing a new system for the USA shop at the moment. Try to find something that's a little bit quicker, you know, as we start to ramp up our production here at the shop. Um, but for now, I will keep doing things the way that I've been doing them in order to get the look that I feel I want, at least on my personal projects. Also, as I'm doing the wet sanding, um, I feel it's it's kind of important to do cross hatching uh, when you're when you're doing your wet sanding. And basically, what that means is um, you know go one direction and then hit it with another direction. So you're kind of overlapping scratches. Uh, some people prefer to go in a circular motion, uh, which is also cool. Again, cat skinning different ways. Please don't skin a cat. That's not what I'm trying to tell you to do. Um, if you feel like skinning a cat, please seek help. <laughs> Unless that cat like skinned a family member of yours or something, then, you know, totally fucking down for some retribution. You know, get your vengeance, skin that fucking cat, you know? But then like, don't ever do it again, you know? All right, so I got my thousand wet all done. Um, now it's time to move on to the 3000 CAD. Where did I put it? Oh, I don't know. There we go. All right, so for this, basically you just kind of want to wet it like so. And you get a little bit of overspray on there, it's fine. Uh, I really hate the positioning of this fucking air flow, air tube, this, this, where this is located, on the other side. I don't like it. Air hose, that's the word.
God damn it. I will never be able to monetize this channel. I do not meet any of the community guidelines whatsoever. All right, now it's time for some Buffy Buffy. <laughs> Nice and satin. Now what to do when you miss a spot. So it looks like right, see right there? Where is it? Right here. In the reflective light, looks like there's a bit of a dip right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with some 600 and just kind of level that out a little bit more. I think there's a little bit of one here on the other side. Let's see if I can catch it, there you go. So that little dip there, I wanna take that out, flatten that out. I'll go back over it with some 600. Um, and then just kind of spot buff those areas. I'll start with 600 wet. I think that'll be a good start. Yup, yup. I'm not gonna keep it too central to this one area. I kind of want to blend out around it because I don't want to end up putting just like a little dip into this area as I'm sanding either, so. Um, I'll kind of start in the middle, flatten it out, work my way outwards, and just kind of go from there, blend it, blend it real nice. I think there might be a little bit of one here too. Maybe I can catch that. Right there. See that little dip? It's like right here. Yeah. Come back at it with a thousand. Did I put that shit?
and now you can see no more depths. Nice and flat. Just the way we like it. And that is how I skin a cat. Just kidding. I don't skin cats. You shouldn't skin cats either. All right, nerds, uh, that's it for today. Um, let's take a moment to kind of reflect upon what it is we saw, what we did. Uh, if you're enjoying the videos, uh, please pass them along to your other nerd friends while you guys are sitting around nerding out, eating nerds, doing nerd stuff, touching each other's nerdles. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it over here. Maybe I'll put it over here. Maybe I'll put it somewhere over there. Who knows? Um, don't forget to watch some of the other videos that I've done. Again, don't know where I'm going to put them. They'll pop up. We'll figure it out. Uh, anyways, thanks for, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time, next video. I don't know what we're going to be doing. We'll figure it out. <laughs>